Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you some of the pictures of my bad swelling prior to surgery. They used to extract fluid from the knee. I believe they did it around three times and I was constantly in pain. And then they actually did MRIs and that's when it was decided that I needed surgery. Now, after getting liquid extracted a few times, you can tell that my knee is still swollen. Once it was decided that I was going to get surgery, I was sent out to get labs. They told me I was going to need a brace that looks like that. Crutches and those items were given to me after surgery. One of the things that I purchased that it is extremely important is a bath chair. OMG, you will need that for sure. Now moving on to the instructions. Be the day before surgery, I was told not to eat or drink anything after 9 p.m. and uh, to remove all jewelry, everything out, okay? And also the day of surgery, take a full shower, wash your hair and your body and do not apply any lotion or anything on your body. Have those painkillers ready to go. My surgery was at 7 and I was out of the hospital by noon or so. It is an in and out uh, surgery. This is how I looked after they got me out. Um, you can see bandages, you can see the brace on and I was a little out of it honestly when um, they got me out and my husband was there to pick me up. I was like oh this is not too bad. This is good. You know this is not gonna be that hard. I got home and I do have stairs. I thought I was gonna struggle. No, nope, I was good. But let me tell you, once the anesthesia wore off, I could feel a lot. A week after, the scars look like this. I'm very swollen. I can start seeing bruising on my knee. It was difficult to get in and out of bed. Going to the restroom was very difficult. You definitely will be needing someone to assist you at least for the first week. Here's a picture exactly a week after, after surgery. I went to the doctor and they checked out the stitches. Um, I was thinking they were going to remove them that day, but no, they did not, so... Week two post-op. At this point, I was able to move a little bit better with the crutches. You kind of get used to. It is hard to get in and out of the car and um, yeah, showering, it's, it's a little hard still because you have to make sure that you cover the leg, okay? You can't get the incision wet, but this is what we have so far. Some of the things that I was doing on week two was um, trying to, you know, to cook, and I do have three kids on my own, so I was really, really trying, and I could feel that my knee would get exhausted, meaning that it would start hurting. One of the things that, and I used to be like, oh, they always tell me that all the time, to put ice and elevate your leg or your knee. And believe it or not, that does help. On week two, I stopped taking my painkillers because they make me feel kind of weird. So again, you know, I just iced my knee as much as I could. Okay, so I'm here at the doctor's office. It is exactly two weeks since my surgery and I'm pretty sure they're about to take this out right now. So, I'll be right back and let you know what they said. Okay, I was filming and I had to stop because um, when he was removing those stitches, it kind of hurt, it felt uncomfortable. So I decided just, you know, to film a little bit and then I stopped just because I did have to take a deep breath. After he removed all of them, this is what the incision looks like. It does look kind of gross in my opinion, but nevertheless, I have to keep it that way. He went ahead and put on some tape. I asked if I could get that uh, area wet and he said um, that I could just not to scrub not to scrub the incision area and those tapes will fall off on their own. I asked about physical therapy and they told me um, that I'm not ready for that yet. I'll keep you posted.